Hello everyone, welcome to Learning Hub for Kids. Today we will solve linear equations with one variable. Today's topic is linear equations with one variable. We'll see how we solve the linear equations with one variable. We'll take few examples and see how can we solve them. Let's take one example and the first example we can take as x plus 3 equals to 7 so this is a linear equation and we have to solve this in this linear equation the variable is x because we are solving linear equations with one variable so in this equation if we have to find the variable the variable is x so how can we solve this here we'll keep x as it is and this is number and it's 3 so we have to take its position we will take this from left to right equals to 7 and when we take from this 3 from left to right its sign will change here it's positive 3 and now it will become negative 3 so the answer is x equals to 7 minus 3 4 now let's take another example the example number 2 here the question is 2x plus 1 equals to x plus 7 2x plus 1 equals to x plus 7. What is x? x means it is 1x. So whenever it is written only x, it means 1x. So again now we have to change the positions. The variables will be on the left side and the numbers will be on the right side. So here the variable is 2x. And we will change the position of 1x. When we change the position, it will become minus 1x. And here we have 7. And we have to change the position of 1. When we take 1 from left to right, it will become minus 1. So 2x minus 1x. x will remain as it is. 2 minus 1, 1 x is as it is 2 minus 1 1 and 7 minus 1 is 6 we can also write it as x equals to 6 now let's take third example and see how can we solve it your question is 3x minus 12 plus 4x equals to 6x plus 6 now we have to solve this linear equation how can we solve it same we have to keep all the variables on the left side and all the numbers on the right side so here the first variable is 3x keep it as it is second variable is 4x keep it as it is third variable is 6x we will change the position of 6x and bring it to the left side so when you will change the position of 6x its symbol will also get changed from plus to minus here we have number 6 and this minus 12 will be come to right side and the sign will be plus because here the sign is negative now the variable x will remain as it is and we have to just add and subtract the number 3 plus 4 7 minus 6 1 3 plus 4 7 minus 6 1 equals to 6 plus 12 18 we can also write it as x equals to 18 take fourth example fourth example or the fourth question is 
सिक्स प्लस टू एक्स प्लस फाइव इंटू थ्री एक्स माइनस सिक्स इक्वल्स टू ट्वेंटी फाइव दिस इज द एग्जाम्पल नाउ सेम वी हैव टू कीप वेरिएबल्स ऑन द लेफ्ट साइड एंड नंबर्स ऑन द राइट साइड बट हेयर वी हैव वन ब्रैकेट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू सॉल्व द ब्रैकेट आफ्टर दैट वी विल अरेन्ज द वेरिएबल्स ऑन द लेफ्ट साइड एंड नंबर्स ऑन द राइट साइड so how can we solve the bracket it will be 6 plus 2x plus 5 into 3 15x and 5 into 6 30 equals to 25 so now the bracket is gone and we can arrange the variables and the numbers so it will be 2x plus 15x equal to 25. 6 will come here and the sign will be negative. 30 will come here and the sign will be positive. So the sign will change when we change the position from left to right or right to left. 2x plus 15x is 17x and 25 plus 30 55 minus 6 is 49 so the answer will be x equals to 49 and 17 will be denominator the answer of x is 49 divided by 17 Let's take another example, and the question is eight plus two bracket start five x minus eight plus three bracket start x plus two equals to twelve plus four. Bracket start two x minus one. So this is a linear equation, and this is your question. Again, we have to first solve the brackets. So here eight plus two into five, two into five, ten x, two into eight, sixteen, and the sign is. negative because 2 is positive and 8 is negative plus 3 into x x means 1x 3 into 1 3x 3 into 2 6 equals to 12 plus 4 into 2 8x 4 into 1 4 now we have to keep all the variables on the left and numbers on the right the first variable is 10x this is 3x and 8x we will bring it on the left and this will be negative 8x the numbers here are 12 minus 4 8 will come here and will become negative 16 will be positive 6 will be minus 6 so these are now arranged now we have to solve this so x the variable will be as it is and we have to add and subtract the numbers 10 plus 3 13 minus 8 5 here 12 plus 16 is 28 
and 4 plus 8 12 4 8 and 6 will become 18 so we will add all the minus numbers we will add all, all the positive numbers now 5x equal to 28 minus 18 means 10 so the x will be 10 divided by 5 so the value of x is 2 the value of x is 2 5x equal to 10 x equal to 10 divided by 5 and the value x, x is 2 all few more questions of linear equation the question here is x divided by 2 plus 5 equal to 8 x divided by 2 plus 5 equal to 8 so this is your variable keep the variable on the left side and the number will come on your right and sign will be negative from positive x divided by 2 8 minus 5 3 now 3 means 3 by 1 the meaning of 3 is 3 by 1 and how will we solve this cross multiplication x into 1 x and 3 into 2 6 so the value of x is 6 now see another example let's take one more question x divided by 2 plus x divided by 3 equal to 5 your next question is this now how will we solve this first of all keep in your mind that, that x means 1x x means 1x ok now these are 2 and 3 we have to take the LCM of 2 and 3 uh, how will you take the LCM we have to divide 2 so 2 is divided by 2 3 as it is divide 3 and now multiply the answer 2 and 3 this is 2 into 3 equal to 6 so the LCM of 2 and 3 is 6 and this will be 6 divided by 2 the answer is 3 3 into 1 3x 6 divided by 3 is 2 2 into 1x is 2x equal to 5 3 plus 2 5x divided by 6 equal to 5 divided by 1 now again cross multiplication 5x into 1 5x and 5 6 are 30 the answer of x is 30 divided by 5 which is 6 x equal to 30 by 5 and the answer is 5 6 are 30 your answer is 6 more question the question is 4x plus 3 divided by 3 plus 1 by 3 equal to 3x minus 1 divided by 2 this is your question how will you solve this question again you have to take the LCM of both the numbers are 3 so your LCM is 3 now 3 divided by 3 1 you have to multiply 1 by these numbers if we will multiply 1 by 4x the answer is 4x and we will multiply by 3 by 1 it will be 3 
same 3 divided by 3 is 1 1 into 1 1 equal to 3x minus 1 divided by 2 now 4x plus 3 plus 1 4 divided by 3 3x minus 1 divided by 2 now cross multiplication 2 into 4 8x 2 into 4 8 3 into 3 9x 3 into 1 3 variables on the left side 8x minus 9x equal to minus 3 and this 8 will become minus 8 9 minus 8 here this will be minus 1x because negative number is greater and 3 and 8 will become your 11 we have minus here we have minus here so the minus will go the answer is x equal to 11 now we will see few more questions where we have to solve the questions and uh, your question is the number decreased by 7 is 25 find the number I am again repeating your question the question is the number decreased by 7 is 25 find the number so if we will take that number as x and the question is number decreased by 7 is equal to 25 so the x decreased by 7 means we have subtracted 7 from the x the answer is 25 so this will become your linear equation and how to solve this linear equation x equal to 25 plus 7 x equal to 32 next question the number is multiplied by 2 this is your number the question is the number is multiplied by 2 so multiply this by 2 and 8 is added to the product in this product we will add 8 the result is 50 result is 50 I am again repeating the question the question is the number is multiplied by 2 and 8 is added to the product multiplied by 2 8 is added to the product we are adding it the result is 50 so this is your linear equation and how will we solve this 2x equal to 50 minus 8 2x equal to 42 x equal to 42 divided by 2 and your answer is 21 now let's see the third question and your question is 2 third of the number is increased by 9 the sum will be 19 find the number 2 third of a number so in all the questions our number is x because we are assuming the number is x 2 third of a number so 2 third of this number is increased by 9 we are increasing it by 9 the sum will be 19 so this is your linear equation and we have to solve this linear equation now 2x divided by 3 here 19 minus 9 2x divided by 3 equal to 10 10 means 10 by 1 so this is your 2x 2x into 1 2x and 3 into 10 30 x will be 30 divided by 2 your answer is 
15. Let's see the next question. The next question is the sum of two numbers is 64. Sum of two numbers is 64 and the second number is 16 less than the first number. Sum of two numbers is 64 and second number is 16 less than the first number. Okay, so we have to find that number. So the number we always assume as x. Let that number is x. Sum of two numbers is 64. The first number is x and second number is 16 less than the first number. It means your second number will be x minus 16. So these are the two numbers. Question is sum of two number is 64 and second number is 16 less than the first number. If the first number is x, second number is 16 less. And the sum of these two is 16 because these are the two numbers. If we will add these two numbers, the sum should be 64. x means 1x plus again 1x minus 16 equal to 64. 1x plus 1x, 2x equal to 64 plus 16, x equal to 80 divided by 2, 40. So that number is 40. So your first number is 40. Question is, find three consecutive numbers whose sum is 108. Three consecutive numbers where sum of the three numbers is 108. So now we will take same example. You, we, you will assume the first number as x. Second number will be x plus 1. And third number will be x plus 2. x, x plus 1, x plus 2. Consecutive numbers. 3 consecutive numbers x, x plus 1, x plus 2 and sum of these 3 is 108 this plus this plus this equal to 108 so here x means 1x, 1x, 1x it means 1, 1, 1, 3x 1 plus 2, 3 equal to 108 8 3x equal to 108 3 will come on the right side 3x equal to 105 and your x equal to 105 divided by 3 and your answer is 35 so your first number is 6 if your first number is 6 first number is 35 sorry First number is 35. First number is x. So x is 35. Second number was x plus 1. Means 35 plus 1. Second number is 36. Third number was x plus 2. Means 35 plus 2. It's 37. If you will add these three numbers, your answer is 108. Three consecutive numbers where sum of the numbers is 108. Eight. Let's say take another question and try to solve it. The question is find two consecutive odd numbers whose sum is 56. Find two consecutive odd numbers. Odd. Odd number means you know the odd numbers. Odd and even. Odd is 3. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 
and so on so the gap between the two number is 2 or the difference between the two is number is 2 so if your first odd number is x it means your second number will be x plus 2 the difference should be 2 now it's saying your question is find two consecutive odd numbers whose sum is 56 so if these are the two numbers their sum is 56 again x means 1x 1x so it's 2x 56 minus 2 2x equal to 54 x equal to 54 divided by 2 it's 27 so your value of x is 27 your first number is x means first number is 27 second number is x plus 2 means 27 plus 2 29 and sum of these two numbers is 50 6. Let's take another example. Your question is Rakesh is now three times as old as his younger brother Pinku. Rakesh is now three times as old as his younger brother Pinku. But in three more years he will be only twice as old as Pinko. How old are they? I'm here in this question. We will take their present age as well as their future age. So what is the present age? The question is Rakesh is now three times as old as his younger brother Pinko. So if the age of Pinko current is is x so the age of Rakesh will be 3x because Rakesh is three times in age of his brother and after three years after three years age of Pinku will be x plus 3 and age of Rakesh will be 3x plus 3 it's saying after three years age of Rakesh will be twice the age of his brother it means this is the age of Rakesh let's keep it as this and x plus 3 is the age of Pinku age of Rakesh is twice the age of Pinko. The age of Rakesh is twice. So if we will double the age of younger brother, it will be right equal to the age of elder brother. Now let's solve this. This is the age of Pinko x plus 3, age of Rakesh 3x plus 3. If we will double the age of Pinko, it will be equal to the age of Rakesh. So it will be 2x plus 6 equal to 3x plus 3. Now we will change the position of variables and numbers. 2x minus 3x and 3 minus 6. This is minus 1x and this is minus 3. So your minus will be cancelled and x equal to 3. x equal to 3 means age of Pinku is 3. Age of Rakesh is 3x. 3x means 3 into 3. 9. And after 3 years, Pinku will be 3 plus 3 equal to 6. 
and Rakesh will be 9 plus 3 equal to 12. So you can see here after 3 years Rakesh age will be double of Pinku's age. Let's take one more question. Your question is I have some 5 rupee coins and some 2 rupee coins. I have some 5 rupee coins and some 2 rupee coins. The number of 2 rupee coins is 4 times that of 5 rupee coins. Number of 2 rupee coins is 4 times that of 5 rupee coins. If I have 117 rupees, find the number of coins of each denomination. So I have some coins, some 5 rupee coins, some 2 rupee coins, some 5 rupee coins, some 2 rupee coins. But I don't know the number of the coins. So if I will take the number of 5 rupee coins as X. Okay, the question is saying the number of 2 rupee coins is 4 times that of 5 rupee coins. Number of 2 rupee coins is 4 times of 5 rupee coins. So now we have all the numbers. This is the number of 5 rupee coins. This is the number of 4 rupee coins. So if this is the number of coins and these are 5 rupee coins, if we will multiply 5 by the number and we will also multiply this 2 rupee by the number of coins, we will get the amount that we have in our hand. So this is your 5x plus 2 into 4. 8x equal to 117 13x equal to 117 and x equal to 117 divided by 13 x equal to 13 nines it means the x is 9 so you have 9 5 rupee coins 9 5 rupee coins and 4x, 4x means 9 for the 36 2 rupee coins. So if we multiply them, it's 45. Multiply this, this is 72. If you will add them, you will get your 170 rupees. 117 rupees. Thanks for your continuous support to our channel. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.